Well, okay, I mean, how do you tell people this? Yeah. You tell them. You tell them. Um, it, it's not a mystery that good architectures uh, are there to keep your options open, that you choose architectures so that you leave options open. That's not a mystery. It is not a mystery that we want to independently deploy chunks of our applications and treat them as plugins to each other. That's not a mystery either. So what we're missing here is just the basic education. These are ideas that have been around since the, probably since the 80s. They were really solidified well in the 90s. Um, and then somehow we lost track of them. I think the, uh, the Agile movement came along and that stirred the pot a great deal. And, and we stopped using the word architecture because it held connotations of big upfront things. And, and the web came along and that was such a deeply disturbing thing. It changed everything that we just kind of dropped the notion of architecture and went on the hunt for the perfect framework. And now we're coming back to this idea of, well, wait a minute, what is the structure of these applications? What is the best way to structure them? How do I, how do I change my delivery mechanism? How do I change my database? How do I keep my tests running fast? How do I do all these things that our current architectures make very difficult? So this is an education issue, right? This is uh, uh, something that people should be studying. And, and study the older books. And get, get out uh, Jacobson's book, Object-Oriented Software Engineering. Get out the old Booch books, the old Rumba books. Get those books out and read them again. Read the old Tom DeMarco books. All those books talked about issues like this. And then we've forgotten it over the last 20 years. The last 20 years have been this period of forgetfulness.